Hello, this is Mr. Snoopy. Coming to you today, um, I'm a little concerned that I was looking on YouTube, there was no videos of how to rig, how I think it should be rigged, an artificial squid, which is this little guy right here, glow in the dark, pick it up at Richard's Tackle Shop in, uh, I believe, Rosemead, off of Walnut Grove and uh, um, Hellman. Very good store, by the way. Um, they sell the bodies there so what I did was I went and got a few and picked up some some uh, tackle so I can make my own rigs um, because you know they sell them made already but they're pretty expensive you know for one maybe six bucks you know it's like you know really I mean I understand they're quality made but when you're a budget fisherman like myself you have to figure out ways of how to get your cost down so hopefully this video is gonna help you a little bit um, you're gonna hear periodic uh, voice of my daughter Mia which is over there she's watching Dora which you can hear in the background but if we come down here you can see that I got some uh, um, blackwater fluorocarbon 40 pound uh, for this rig, I decided to use um, owner hooks. I believe this is a, a, a might be a six. I'm not sure. Um, and um, I'm using some some of these uh, soft stoppers here with some um, very good um, barrel swivels. And of course the the squid in question. I mean, these are simple little um, bodies, plastic. They're nice and soft. Um, they're not the highest quality, but I'm they glow in the dark. So I'm sure that at a certain depth, the detail is gonna disappear, and all you're gonna see is the silhouette. So I already made one here. And as you can see, okay, the hook hangs at the bottom. I passed some fluorocarbon through the body. On the inside, there's a barrel swivel inside with one of the stoppers to help it from popping up. This is to keep the 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 hook from sliding up into the body and then the barrel swivel up here so that you can attach it to your main line now I don't know if this is gonna affect um, the, the visual but this black black chrome it should not uh, show up too much in the darkness but this is the way I decided to rig it I feel this is a, a good way because you you put a little piece of bait on the end of that hook and it'll give the impression like if the squid is actually having a dinner or lunch and the red hook gives a, 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 a display of maybe some blood from the bait um, so I believe this is a good way this is a good way to rig it I'm gonna try maybe another another method and I'll post another video as soon as I figure out another method to do it I'm thinking maybe uh, one hook coming out of the body, the shaft of it inside with just the round part and the edge coming out of the body and then another hook at the bottom, you know, double hook in case a fish hits the body before it hits the bottom. You could get them, you know, just a, a added, added uh, incentive or added, um, um, added advantage of having two hooks depending on how the fish decides how the fish decides to hit your bait and this is good it's pretty durable I'm sure it'll last quite a few quite a few large fish you know we're in February uh, March is coming up we're gonna have a rock fish season opening up so we got to get ready and and they love squid rockfish love squid you know so we're gonna go ahead and try that and hopefully this will help anybody else out there who I mean this body here 
the glow in the dark body costed me one dollar and i bought a pack of hooks which was like three dollars you know and then the swivels buying all the gear costed me about maybe i don't know call it 10 15 dollars but i have enough gear to make multiple multiple rigs and not only that i got myself with that price included some uh, some larger hooks but these i'm going to use for something else entirely these are rather large hooks i think these are the seven odd owner hooks very good hooks but i might use those to to make something for a shark but then again this is the rig um i guess if you want to i mean the, the the knots are i believe they're um cinch knots or clinch knots or whatever they're called um the the hook is snailed on so you can see that snailed on um to give it that straight presentation instead of um i mean you know you want it to be straight down so okay well here's uh here's my version of a squid rig not for squid but for rockfish i believe it'll work very well it's glow in the dark so it will attract fish and hopefully this video was helpful because i was looking for videos on how to do it and i couldn't find one so here you go god bless